Hey guys, so welcome back to Persona 4 Golden. Let's carry on where we left off. We have just endured the longest weekend imaginable, and we've got school today, unfortunately, because, man, we don't even, we deserve a break. After what happened, the weekend felt like the entirety of 2020. So much went on. We uh, got arrested by our own uncle, taken in for questioning. That left Nanako Dojima, our little sis, vulnerable for Taro Namatame, the delivery man, to kidnap her. I didn't suspect the delivery man, suspected literally everyone across town. But uh, the unseen delivery man escaped my suspicion. Uh, we went into her dungeon, which was a representation of heaven, because that's where she thinks her mother is. It was so cute and adorable and heartwarming. But uh, we needed to get in there, rescue her from Taro Namatemi's clutches. He basically became a shadow himself. Does it, so does that mean his shadow was wandering around the real world this entire time? I don't quite know. All I know is we took Nanako out of there. Namatame's in custody. We ranked up Teddy, and we also ranked up Adachi in terms of a social link, which I found quite interesting. I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, it's only rank 7, and the fact that it happened to do with the story has me a little bit... Uh, taken aback but for now I guess we've done everything we possibly could have done all you can do is wait for Nanako's recovery you should hurry to school yeah okay and that's why the South Pole is colder than the North Pole speaking of cold it got cold really quickly this year remember to wear extra layers so you don't get sick but ladies it's no good to wear warm-ups under your skirts why because no one can see your legs Er, uh, that was a joke. Just my way of reminding you all to wear your school uniforms, got it? Uh, oh, that's right, this is the creepy teacher. <laughs> I mean, uh, Kashiwagi's also creepy, but this guy, you know, he's always trying to play things off as a joke, whereas Kashiwagi kind of owns it. Alright, back on topic, I'll ask a question about the South Pole. I'll pick you, Sokun, since you don't even button the front of your uniform in cold weather. <laughs> I mean, it's all the chest hair, clearly. <laughs> uh, which country do you think the South Pole belongs to? I mean, shit, I just had a traumatic weekend, but sure, I can answer a question in class, no problem. Uh, no one has, owns the South Pole. I know there's bases there. New Zealand has a base, Scott base. But uh, we're not even an option there. You gave the answer you think is correct. Now, do you know? I'm impressed. You're right, the South Pole doesn't belong to anyone. I mean, yeah, I, I live kind of near it. <laughs> The Antarctic Treaty System of 1961 rules that all land below 60 degrees south latitude belongs to no nation. Similarly, the North Pole is not owned by any country either. Oh, so it's not part of Greenland? Oh, good to know. In fact, there's no land at the North Pole. It's just ice floating on the ocean. <laughs> now, please get out your textbooks. Let's go over the... And then I just clearly tune out from the rest of this lecture because I'm worried sick about my little sis. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. I feel like the teachers keep throwing me softballs, and we can't be having my fiction playing over such a sad and distressing time. Class of for today, Nanako is in no condition to be visited. You must wait for her to recover. I can't even visit her, I can't even make sure she's okay. Like I said, I wanted to be sleeping in that corridor, basically. I wanted to hug someone at the end of all of the events that took place on Sunday. Uh, I guess we speak with our classmates. Oh, it's cold. It wasn't this cold last year. It's really cold this year. I wonder if it's going to be really foggy this winter. My nose is going to freeze right off. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I like to warm things up around here. You know, since I don't button up my shirt, can't be that cold. Some politicians visited an elementary school near here. They came all this way to investigate the fog. The TV's been saying that everything's fine, but... But yeah, everything's fine. It has to be. No! This all stemmed because of that stupid politician interviewing my little sis. She didn't deserve this. Huh? They never did say what was causing the fog in the first place. I'm nervous all of a sudden. I mean, it must be the TV world, right? But what's going on with that? You know, did it just come to existence this year? Because, you know, it's been foggy, but apparently it's just been unnaturally foggy this year. Cannot believe that some people went into the TV today. You should have cleaned up your business yesterday, guys. What the heck? Nanako can't spend another day in there. I'm disappointed in this Fox Populi feature. It's showing me how hopeless some of humanity is. Right, what are we doing today? Who are we hanging out with? Yumi is available. I don't think we've got some quest items to turn in because we didn't go back to the castle. Uh, not the castle. Um, the secret lab, for instance. 
So, uh, I guess we might as well just speak with people, see if we've got their items. I feel like my heart is frozen over. I asked Kanji-kun to help me get ready for Culture Fest, but he said no. Maybe that's just not his thing? Weird, I hear he's always over at Daidara. I'm guessing you can't find the thing I asked about, huh? Sorry. You don't think this high-speed gear exists? Well, I'm pretty sure it does. I think it looks kind of like a mechanical wheel. And you might be able to find it in an industrial-looking place. Yep, secret lab. I know. Nato's available too. Uh, can we even rank her up? Let's see. I really want to. I really want to work on it because she has been an absolute star, and we we'd be nowhere without her. I was in no condition to to pull the investigation team together. Oh, so san. I hope they allow Nanako Chan to have visitors soon. Of course, there's nothing we can do about that. I know. I really hope we can visit her soon. Oh, if you don't mind, I'm free today. Not just trying to make you feel better. But my relationship's not ready to advance yet, so it's not helping. <laughs> Will you spend the afternoon with Nato? I'm sorry, not right now. Next time, then. Nato looks a bit sad. I know, I know. Uh, let's see who else is available, then. First, my shoe locker. There's something inside. There's a note that reads, I made this in my chemistry class. Try it out. Muscle drink. For my exposed chest. I uh, just want to say thank you guys as well for reminding me on uh, dungeon boss etiquette, I suppose. I didn't do any debuffs on Namatame, which probably would have helped matters tremendously, considering I got stuck for the first half of the battle. Uh, also, the reflect abilities to uh, reflect magic attacks would have come in handy for sure because of the enhanced magic damage that he uh, brought into effect, and he was using those very same elements against us, so... We would have done some extra damage, like a lot of extra damage, if I had employed those tactics. But it's fine, I'll remember that if we have another dungeon. Uh, I'm pretty sure we do, because this is Persona 4 Golden. Um, because, I, yeah, I think there was an extra dungeon added to Persona 4 Golden. And, to be honest, I think there might be one more dungeon, because of the fact that, uh, you know, we're still leveling up Teddy, we're still leveling up... Um, the investigation team, maybe it just maxes out at the end, but why would you have it maxed out, I suppose, if there's no reason to make Personas anymore, you know? Maybe it's for the new game plus? I don't know. I don't know how, if I'm looking too deep into this. But uh, Naoki's available, we should probably oh, speak with him. hi. Hello, Sosan. Naoki seems to have some free time. I have Taowu, a Persona of the Hangman Arcana. My relationship's gonna become closer soon. We'll spend the afternoon with Naoki. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yes. Sure, it's okay. Naoki looks a bit happier. Shopping, Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner Aya. You remember how I talked about quitting school? I told my parents my plan. They were really against it. They told me, that's not what we want. Live the way you want to. I mean, that they're not wrong about that. And then they asked, you hate school, don't you? You're just running away from it. They got all suspicious of me suddenly. I wasn't expecting that at all. I mean... Mm, don't worry them too much. <sighs> but I was thinking about helping out with the shop in the first place, so they wouldn't worry. Naoki's smiling wryly, that's right, he did say that. If I wanted to run, I could do that forever. Since everyone's being so kind to me. Not just the health association, the class chores, club activities. Everyone says I can just do whatever. Even the teachers just allow me to take tests home. If I show up late, if I leave early, I don't get penalized. You're starting to feel like you're being patronized because of all the special treatment. None of my actions have consequences. I can't tell if I'm right or wrong, since everyone reacts the same either way. No one gives me orders. They just tell me to take it easy. Then they take all responsibility away from me. Eventually, it doesn't matter if I'm even there. I mean, it's... Jeez, look at his eyes. They're so baggy, man. Uh, I mean, he's probably thinking I just need to go somewhere and start over, you know, where people don't know my history, so they don't feel sorry for me. I know some people who, you know, have just bad... a bad history, and they don't want to bring it up because they don't want people to feel sympathy or feel sorry for them or think that they need your pity. And I can, un I can understand that, because you start to feel like... You're getting patronized and you're getting all this special treatment. You just want to be treated like a normal person, you know? I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to exist. 
Am I really that pitiable? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you are. Deal with it. No, I'm not gonna say that. Um, you're not the only one. Yeah. I know. Now he's biting his lip. What should I do? Should I just keep going around and telling people not to treat me special, like I've been doing? Should I act like Sis never existed? Definitely not that last part. Never forget your sister. She obviously meant a lot to you, right? Being stared at, being pitied, being alienated by my friends. Should I just pretend not to notice? Until everyone gets tired of it? When they do get tired of it? Won't I be alone? No, you won't. You've got me, I'm my friend. I'm sorry. I'm just rambling. I don't even really know what I'm saying right now. You can feel that Naoki's trying to open his heart to you. You can, man. We're just sitting here in Aya. This is our usual hangout spot. I like that we've got our own hangout spot. I'm not going to treat you any different. But I will listen to you. Saki's brother, rank 6. Saki's brother, social link, has reached level 6. Your power to create personas of the hangman arcana has grown. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not a good subject to talk about while eating. Lately, I don't even taste my food. Why don't you just gobble it up, swallow it whole? Remember to I'll chew. I'll see you again. You went home after eating with Naoki. Wow, this is depressing. You know how depressing this is? Not having Nanako here to say, Welcome back, big bro. And we've got different music playing. Dojima's never gonna be here because he's obviously in hospital. TV's off. Oh, God. I'm gonna have to do some farming by myself. The vegetables we planted look ready to be harvested. What will you do? Can I just harvest the vegetables and bring it to the hospital? Why can't I do that? Game. Someone modded in. God, this is like the start of a really depressing montage. <laughs> you know? It's like, I come home, the lounge is empty, the TV's off, I go out into the vegetable patch, digging my own veggies. Uh, group activity we used to do. The vegetables in the garden have grown magnificently. Great vegetables, Dojima would say. Harvested two return daikon. Come on, grow, grow! You know, I'm missing it. The soil seems to be in good enough condition to plant new seedlings. He planted daikon seedling. Notice how I replanted daikon seedling, so when Nanako comes out of hospital, it looks like I haven't harvested it yet. I'm just waiting for her to come back so we can harvest it together. It's the little things, you know, guys? Picture there's nothing in the fridge. I'm gonna need to clear out the fridge. You open the fridge. Looks the same as ever inside. Empty. Like my heart right now. Rize is here. I think I'm ready to rank her up, so I'll keep that in mind. Is Naoto around? No kanji is though. Have I got the part-time job? I need to... I'm pretty sure I did get it. Tutor. Yeah, I've already accepted the job. Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, so tomorrow. Uh, that's fine. Let's go into the shrine and yeah, let's go to the shrine and um, rank up Naoto. You know what I also realized at the top of the shopping district? Oh, of course, the ghost lady. Hey, do you like your new upgrades to the shrine? I've upgraded your hangout spot. My contributions were immense. Hope you enjoy. I should probably speak with her actually. You, are you going to share your fish with me? Unfortunately, I have only this. Please take it. I have an abundance of fish, but I don't quite know which stone I should get. I might actually come back some other time. I see. Uh, sorry, I was saying something. The top of the shopping district where the car crash took place. Oh, we didn't flatten that old man, you know, the police officer, the former police officer that was patrolling up there. I feel really bad that I suspected him now. It's a small shrine. It looks like you could draw matchmaking fortunes. It costs 200 yen. I have 148,000. What should you do? Draw a fortune. Okay, which social link would you like to think about as you draw your fortune? Female classmates. Uh, someone else? Nato. Come on. I better get a boost because of what I've done to this place. It says great blessing. I'll take it. You feel like you've gotten a little closer to Nato. The fortune says your relationship will not become stronger yet. What? You're kidding me. Time passes. You tie the omikuji around the fortune tree. It's getting late. We decided to go home. Damn, man. She said she wanted to cheer me up, but she's keeping me at an arm's length distance, even with a great blessing. 
What am I gonna do? Oh, Naoki, hello. So sad. Well, do you want to get something to eat? Or do you not have time to hang out today? Will you spend the day with Naoki? You know what, since you've approached me at lunchtime, why not? I'm obviously ready to take the next step, but I don't think I've got anything pressing taking place during the day. Let's start ranking up Naoki. That's good. I was worried that I might be bothering you, or becoming a time sponge. <laughs> no, that's fine. I like going to Aya and eating anyway. Eventually I'll meet his daughter. I'll see you after school then. You decided to spend the afternoon with Naoki. Done. I don't think I've ever confirmed my hangout during lunchtime. Classes have ended for today. Now, Nanako is in no condition to be visited. You must wait for her to recover. You recall that you have already made plans with someone. You should be going soon. I was about to say, I could have made plans and just not turned up. <laughs> that would have been terrible. Since Central Shopping District, Chinese Diner Aya. I don't know why I have trouble saying since Central Shopping District. Um, sorry about last time. How I kept talking about all that nonsense. I wanted to apologize for that. I mean... I don't mind. You're so strange. Why? I'm just a friend, man. I'm lending an ear while we eat. You don't distance yourself from me like everyone else. Or preach to me like you know everything. That's what, you know, sometimes you just need someone to listen. You don't need advice. You don't need them to talk you through your issues. You just want them to listen so you can get it off your chest and just vent. And uh, honestly, I think... It's a valuable skill to just listen and not speak, you know? You definitely don't want to be that guy who's like, Oh, yeah, I know how that feels. One time, this happened to me, and then you start, to, like, trying to one-up them, you know? Never do that. Never try and one-up someone. <laughs> I feel comfortable around you. Naoki looks happy. Hmm. You know, I like cream puffs. <laughs> I know it's kind of girlish. What's wrong with that? There's a good cream puff shop by our house, so every once in a while I'll buy some and take them home. If I put them in the fridge, Sis would eat them. <laughs> Should make up some lame excuse, like I ate them for you since they were about to expire. I like how I've literally taken a break from eating just to listen to him reminisce about his sister. So we'd always get into fights over the cream puffs. But now, the cream puffs don't disappear. I bought some, and they expired in the fridge. Oh, God. When I saw that, I thought, oh, maybe... My heart just broke. Maybe Sis isn't here anymore, you know? God, man, this whole month has just been just sad, you know? I'm, I, I need something happy. So I threw them away. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I told you before. If you ask me if I hate the killer, the answer is no. The truth is, it's not even a no. I don't know anything. I have a meaningless daily life. Just confused parents and a dark house. Just rotting cream puffs. How do I get out from that? What would be best for me? For sis. I just don't know. Uh, take action. That's what you need to do. <sighs> I know. Naoki sighed and nodded. I know I'm stagnating. I know it's not good. I know that I need to move. You really do. I think you just need to keep your mind occupied. Just focus on something... Set a goal for yourself, you know? Set an ambition that you could pursue. Just to allow your mind to, sh to narrow its focus down and sharpen it. I know all that. You quietly listen to Naoki's worries. You feel like you were able to support him. I know what you can do. Since we're always come to Aya, why don't you try working on clearing the Mega Beef Bowl Challenge? That'll be something to set your sights on. And I'm not even being ironic or sarcastic. <laughs> Rank 7 for Saki's brother. We still refer to him as Saki's brother in the social link screen. Has reached level 7. I can just imagine Sawaku Sr. is just like, what's that guy's name again? Saki's brother? That dude? Yeah. Level 7 for him. Your power to create personas of the Hangman Arcana has grown! Come to think of it, if sometimes Sis would bring cream puffs back from her job at Juness. 
We would eat them and complain that Juness's brand tasted bad. Sis looked like she was having a hard time working at Juness. Yep. Know all about that. <laughs> but she said it would eventually be for the sake of our store. She'd play around, but sometimes she acted like the eldest sibling. That always irked me. Um. N next time, will you go to Juness with me? I'd like to check it out. You promised to go to Juness with Naoki next time. Yeah, let's do it. I'll see you again. You went home after eating with Naoki, so I can eat all by myself. You can work as a tutor today. Tutor today? <laughs> yes, I believe we should. We can get started. So this one's, uh, I believe, either Tower or Judgment. Uh, so I think those are the only two I still have left. Which part-time job will you go to? Tutoring. Tutor today? Yes. You decided to work as a tutor today. We should have time since, I'm um... I'm Shu Nakajima. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, he's just a shy boy. But he's so smart, you know? He got the highest score in his class on his last test, and the teacher said he needed tutoring? Mom! What's that all about? <laughs> Enough of that. We're going to study now, so get out. Oh, of course, dear. I don't want to bother you while you're learning. But still, so good, was it? I hear Yasugami High's scores are starting to climb up there. She was already in his second year of middle school, so we need to start thinking of applying to high schools. Uh, is there any other high school around in Inaba? Well, knowing him. Oh, yeah, there is. Um, what's his name? Mitsuo went there. <laughs> well, knowing him, I'm not worried about getting into a good school. But when it's time for college... Mom! That's enough, I said! Oh, my. I guess you're right. Well, then, Sokun, please make sure you teach him well. Study hard, Chu-chan, okay? It'll be fine. Yep, nod. Nod at me. Thanks for the tea. So sad, right? Let me tell you up front. I have no intention of attending Yasugami High. Alright, cool. Where do you plan on going? Cram school I was going to wasn't that good, so I decided I need to switch to private tutoring. You were the only one available, so... Really? So this entire year, no one applied for that job until now. <laughs> If I think you're inadequate, I'll have you replaced immediately. Remember that. Okay, sure. What are you, a miniature Byakuya Togami? Well, <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're a little prick. I'm used to hearing that. There we go. All right, we've set the ba we've set the boundaries. We've set that kind of relationship. Then what should we start with? I don't have any subjects that I'm particularly bad at. You feel confident that you should teach him... P.E. Hmm. That's not funny. Sorry. God, didn't realize you hired me to be a comedian. Then again, I did, I'm did. i the one who just pour out the jokes. Shu fixes you with an icy glare, but you ignore it. It's like I'm trying to get fired. Your diligence has increased. You tutored Shu. He grasps concepts quickly. He answers the problems you have for him in no time at all. You worked hard in explaining the subject to him in an easy-to-understand manner. Your expression has increased. Your knowledge has increased. Sheesh. We'll continue next time. Good. I'm... I guess I'm on the payroll. You were a good tutor. It was easy for me to understand what you were talking about. I'm sure my natural intelligence had something to do with that as well, of course. But of course it did. You're more than welcome to come again whenever you have the time. I'll keep working at my own pace as well, so, uh... Please come teach me again. Sure thing, you little prick. It's gonna be my term of endearment for him. And when we max out our social link, we're gonna be like, Oh, shoot, you little... You little douchebag. Oh, God. I love that I took this job. <laughs> you were accepted as a new tutor. You've become acquaintances with Shu Nakajima, the snooty tutoring pupil. So, what is he, judgment then? You feel a faint bond forming between you and Shu. Simply because he's judging me as a tutor. <laughs> That's all I have to go on. Oh, it's Tower. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. It brings thee closer to the truth. Thou shalt be blessed when creating personas of the Tower Arcana. 
So, I guess it's a tower arcana thing to be arrogant. <laughs> As we know from Persona 5. You have established the tutored student social link of the tower arcana. They also have to be younger than us. <laughs> you may earn an XP bonus when fusing Personas of the tower arcana. Goodbye. Goodbye. You earn 10,000 yen from your tutoring job. Nice. He broke open his piggy bank. Oh, we got thunder and lightning coming up later this week. For now, though, it's lunchtime. Who's going to approach me? Naoki again! So sad. Are you free after school today? Will you spend the day with Naoki? Let's do it. Why not? Let's commit. Thank you. There's some place I really want to go. I'll meet you after school. You decided to spend the afternoon with Naoki. I hope I'm not missing anything just by committing to this. Cause of for today. Now, Nanako is in no condition to be visited. You must wait for her to recover. You recall that you have already made plans with someone. It's like, you know, Naoki and I are bonding over our mutual mourning. At least, I don't have to mourn yet for Nanako. But uh, he has. You should be going soon. We're here at Juness. Juness Food Court. You just finished walking around all of Juness. It is surprisingly empty. What's going on? Is it just really cold and everyone's inside trying to find the heaters? The grocery department downstairs was incredible. And they had so many kinds of liquor at prices much lower than ours. There's no way we could win. But we've been doing well lately. After Sis's murder, murder, there are some people who buy from us out of pity. I mean, that's good, right? Like... I mean, not the fact that they're buying out of pity, but they're buying from their local stores. You know, Juness is a corporate giant. They don't... I mean, I wouldn't say that they don't need your money, but uh, the local the local shops definitely need, need it more than they do. So it's always good to support your local stores. I mean, yeah, it's probably... It probably costs a little bit more, but think of it like keeping the local populace booming. <laughs> yeah, especially nowadays, you know, with what's going on around the world. Very important to support local businesses. Ironic, isn't it? <laughs> They're trying to be kind. <sighs> it's better than selling nothing, so I don't mind. Naoki's looking the other way. But it's over for us. Our family is in shambles. My parents won't even speak a word about Sis. Uh, it's hard for a parent to lose a, a child, you know? You, ne you never want to outlive your child. <laughs> they act. They try to act as if she never existed. Then at night, they cry. What can I do? Hey! I don't know. Huh? So? Yosuke, I knew you'd be here. Aren't you Saki-senpais? Oh. Hi. This is the first time I've been to Juness. I don't really have anything to do with our store. And I don't hold any grudge against you, but... It's just that my parents and the neighbors would have said something. So I never bothered. <laughs> We're in the same boat, buddy. Um... Are you? <laughs> I see. It's incredibly huge, huh? I'm full just looking at all the food here. It's like its own country. Yeah, well, you don't want to grab all the food. That's how you make a Mystery Food X kind of curry. And we still do not talk about that, even after all this time. Your sister said that too. Oh. Oh god. I feel like Yosuke's presence is, is uh, just demoralizing Naoki further. You two do kind of look alike. You have the same chin, the nose and eyes, too. Stop it. My sister isn't here anymore. Lonely, huh? Shut up. Just stop it! What do you know about me? She told me she was proud of you. She boasted about you. You know, I kind of admire Yosuke just pushing along, you know? I don't feel like he's antagonizing me. He's literally trying to get through to Naoki. And uh, I, I think that's pretty cool. Very ballsy, though, you know? You if now he did that to me, I wouldn't know what to say. I'd just be like, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go. And then that would probably actually upset him further than what Yosuke is doing right now. I think what Yosuke is doing right now is good for the long term. I liked your sister. Past tense, huh? Um, yeah. She is. She has passed away, unfortunately. 
I'm doing what I can right now for my sake. And your sister's. If you just sit there crying, you're just troubling her, you know? I'm not crying. Alright! Today's grilled steak day. I'll go grab three. Oh, so you'll have to pay for your own. <laughs> Thanks. Jeez, you're lucky I'm rich. I mean, I suppose I deserve it. I'm the one earning all the cash from the TV world. I don't even share it with my friends. I just keep it all to myself. All 148,000 yen of it. Yosuke-san sure is nosy. Oh, wait. So are you. Oh, sorry. Oh, wait. So are you. <laughs> don't lump me in with him. Uh, yeah, let's crack a joke. Why not? <laughs> that look of disgust on your face. But you really are nosy. Hanging out with the likes of me. Pretty sure you approach me every lunchtime begging me to hang out. And you know what? I'm happy to oblige, so... Naoki is smiling wryly. Yeah, I knew he'd appreciate that little rib. I'm glad I saw where Sis worked. I'm sure I could never have come by myself. I wouldn't have even thought about it. Thank you. You can feel that Naoki is opening up his heart to you. Alright. What is that? Rank 8 for Saki's brother. Saki's brother's social link has reached level 8. Your power to create pursuance of the Hangman Arcana has grown. Grilled steak that I had to pay for. Is it good? It's awful. <laughs> then you're okay. Naoki silently continues to eat. Yosuke is warmly watching over him. This is quite a sight. Why do I just look like I'm... I'm I mean, I understand why I'm sad. Nanako is not here. I'm just thinking about her this entire time. You pass time talking about trivial things. I can't even visit Dojima, you know? At least he's conscious. I'll see you again. You walked Naoki back to his house and went home. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today, but why would I? Because, you know, I'm just going to be working. I'm not going to be able to visit my family. Well, looks like Naoto is here. We can hang out with her this evening. That's good. Uh, let's first speak with drunken subordinate. My boss has been busy, so I've been drinking alone for a while. He's so selfish, all that dragging me to bar after bar. This fog's getting me down, too. Maybe I'll ask him to go drinking next time. Maybe. Yes, bar hopping the one bar in Inaba. <laughs> uh, Nato? Senpai! Ah, so san I hadn't expected to see you at this hour. I came to check the bookstore but I seem to be a little too late. Yes, the sun is down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Would you like to stay here for a while and chat? Nato seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talked with her. Should you spend the evening with Nato? Not quite yet. I'll see you again. I see. Well then, I shall see you later. I need to get a persona. All right, got Fortuna. Let's spend some time with Nato. It's quite all right. Yes, let's talk. Nato seems happy. Well, at least one of well... us is. Uh, about the culture festival. I'm sorry. The actual festival itself for the fact that y'all threw barrels at us. But it was the only way. I couldn't possibly have gone out in front of that crowd wearing a swimsuit. I went out in front of that crowd dressed as a woman. Okay? You know? It was fine, but I guess I can understand. <laughs> It's embarrassing enough to be on stage at all, let alone for a beauty pageant. But you won. Um... I didn't expect that myself. Since that day, more people have turned an inquisitive eye toward me. To be honest, it's a bit overwhelming. Not to sigh. Uh, that aside, have you heard the latest rumor from the Amagi Inn? The night of our stay, someone reported hearing men screaming from one of the rooms, and... I... Uh, that's a... That's a case I still have open. It's not on my resolve cases on the court board, I'm afraid. Definitely don't know the identity <laughs> of those screaming men. You enjoyed your idle chat with Nato. You feel your relationship with Nato has grown stronger. You feel your relationship with Nato could become stronger soon. Oh! I should be getting back. I didn't mean to keep you here for so long. It's okay. There's no one at home. I have a gift for you. You should have it if you're ever feeling hungry. Please accept it. I've received calorie mate from Nato because we wouldn't want to breach any trademarks. Well then, let's go home. 
Let's. Good night. You saw Nato off and then went home. The 10th of November. I don't know when the fog is going to roll in. So let's make the most of our social link rank ups. Who is it? Oh, it's Nato this time. Good day. Good afternoon. I'm not quite used to meeting you here. Uh, yes. There haven't been any further developments regarding the card. I suspect that it is mostly a prank in poor taste. I apologize for troubling you with it. Nato seems calm, but maybe you should walk her home after school. Alright. Well, we didn't get an option to, you know, commit to hanging out with her. That's fine, I kind of want to explore around anyway and catch up on what I may have missed since we've just been exclusively hanging out with Naoki lately. Cause of Inna for today. Nanako is in no condition to be visited. You must wait for her to recover. Alright, let's look around. We've got both clubs available. Hang on, let me just see if I can rank them both up. Oh, we've got I available too. We've got Yukiko. Naoki, you're available and you didn't come see me at lunch? What's going on? Do you hate me now? Oh, Oh, hi. hello, Sosan. Naoki, seem Naoki seems to have some free time. I have Tawu. My relationship isn't likely to grow closer at this point. Oh, right, that's why. I see. Oh, is that so? Goodbye, then. The moment you distance yourself just a little from me and you don't approach me anymore. That's how it is. Uh, today, I think we hang out with Ai because she's hardly ever available, whereas Naoto seems like she's available every day. I mean, I know I should hang out with Naoto because... Oh, and Kanji as well, because they're actual party members, but, you know, I just feel like Ai is harder to get a hold of. She's playing hard to get. All right, Ai. You didn't leave anything in my shoe locker. Neither of you did, which is unfortunate, but I will boost my ego. You see several papers posted on the notice board. Which one would you like to look at? Your score on the test. The results of the examiner posted, you're number one in your grade. Ain't that great? Yeah. Look at me every time I turn around. Look at my oh. big, fat head swell as I look at my results. Oh, you. What do you want? So you have Andra, Persona of the Moon Arcana. You two might get along well. Relationship's going to become closer soon. Let's we'll spend the afternoon with I. Spend time with sure. I. Sure. I don't have anything better to do. I looks almost happy. Almost, but not quite. Yes, yeah, so it got me high rooftop. I yanked your arm all the way up here. <laughs> okay. Y yes? You know... Uh, hey, um... Thanks. Th thank you for that. Last time. Uh... You're welcome. I was... You know... Happy. I looks embarrassed. Oh, r Wait, are you talking about the conversation we had with those boys and then she was around the corner, hiding? <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I'm... I'm in a weird mood. Oh? Every time I think about what happened, I can feel my heart beat faster, and I hardly sleep at night. W what should I do? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Heavy breaths usually helps when you're trying to sleep, you know, like deep breaths, counting backwards from a hundred. I... I think... What should I do? I think I'm in love. Uh, what? With who? It's funny, isn't it? Like, why now? I just keep thinking back on that day. Are you talking about it's Ko? Kokun. All right, okay, there we go. Oof, I'm, I'm taken, you know? You, you've seen my girlfriend. She literally hangs out a couple of feet away from you, admiring my score on the board. She's happy that, you know, she's going out with someone so educated. <laughs> do, do you know if he has a girlfriend? I don't believe he does. He's also in a weird mood, to be honest. He's um, kind of flunking out of the basketball team, but I've been doing that all year, so I guess it's not that strange. Do you think... Maybe I'm his type? Or do you think he hates people like me? Um... Have a little confidence, you know? Y you're right. I nod seriously. I'll always say that, you know? Always have a little confidence in yourself. Believe in yourself. You, you can't expect other people to believe in you if you don't believe in yourself. I'm not used to things like this. You're the only one I can turn to. I is looking at you with pleading eyes. You feel your relationship with I deepen as she reveals a side of herself you've never seen before. 
That is why we're on the roof behind the solar panels. Hopefully it's just too bright that no one can see us silhouettes in the corner. As the sun bears down on the roof. Rank 5 for I. Oh man, we're falling behind. The I Ibihara social link has reached level 5. Your power to create personas of the moon arcana has grown. Come on, please. You'll help me, right? All I need you to do is... Ask him what's his type. That's it. No problem. <laughs> Thank goodness. Um, you don't have to do it today or anything, but please. It's on the list of things to do. Thank you. You parted with I in silence and went home. I just gotta not think about what's happening with Nanako and Uncle Dojima and just focus on my social links. You can work as a tutor today with that little asshole. <laughs> you can work as a janitor at the hospital today, too. Hello, Shu. We're back. You tutored Shu. Can you teach me this? With regards to question four, here, why does it use this formula? You tried to explain it to him in a way that he could understand. Your expression has increased. Isn't this cheesecake delicious? I bought it from an online shop that's all the rage these days. It's been the top ranked store for 15 weeks straight. Just like Shu Chan. First place in everything. Mom! Stop it! <laughs> but you're my pride and joy. Yep, that's such a mum thing to say. So, so good. About Shu. Do you think he could make it into Tokyo University? I don't want him to ever have to have any hardship. Once he's in a good college, he's set, right? Uh, I wouldn't say you're set. You still need to put in the work when you get a job, right? Everyone has a natural talent. Shu Chan's just happens to be how smart he is. I feel like she's putting a lot of pressure on him. I just want him to go to a good college so he can get a good job, and then buy a good house, and find a good... Mom! <laughs> Don't you worry about me, Mom. I'm always on top. I am right now, and I always will be. That's right. He really is the perfect child. No, I am, but okay. Sure. That's why I'm tutoring him, after all. I'm trying to pass down my perfect characteristics. Shu's mother continues to lavish praise on her son. Yeah, I mean... There comes a point where it's a, it's a bit overbearing, you know? You can't just feed compliments to your... I mean, you know, it's natural. You love your children, you want to feed compliments to them, but... You don't want to overdo it, you know, because... They might start thinking, you know, I am all this stuff, and... It, it might help... It might, um make them fall that much harder when inevitably they fail in life, right? You're always you're gonna fail at something at some point in your life. And being told told you're co constantly that you're special, you can do anything, you're the smartest guy in the room, there's nothing that you have no flaws whatsoever, it's gonna life is gonna hit you very hard and you're not gonna be like conditioned to weather it. Because this entire time you've just been hearing compliments about yourself. And I'm not saying parents should, you know, berate their kids and be like, you suck. You're you are absolutely stupid. You know, you only got 95% in the test. What the hell's wrong with you? There has to be a balance, you know. Encourage your children, but and don't blow sm too much smoke up their ass. Mister. If I get into a good college, am I really set? Uh, I don't think so. Let's be mm. real. Let's be straight with them. How would you know? You're not even in college yet. So why'd you ask me then? Jeez, Google it. Shu sneers at you. Oh, you're sneering at me now? Is that how it is? Oh boy. I don't really need to be set just yet. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean anyway. I don't know how I should treat this guy. Should I be, like, kind of standoffish with him? Should I encourage him? Well, I need to study. There's no point in asking about college unless I'm really smart. She was looking down. What's up, kid? Raison d'etre. Raison d'etre. Yeah, we're just gonna pull out the Latin now, are we? Is it even Latin? I don't even know. <laughs> do you know what that means? Uh, sure I do. Hmm. I'm surprised. Well, it makes sense, since you're three grades above me. Shoe knots. Oh, well, good. Don't test me on it. <laughs> it's irrelevant. Okay. I only have mom, and the guys at school are all kids. It seems that Shu has opened his heart to you, if only a little. You feel that your relationship with Shu has deepened slightly. Okay, well, there you go. A little bit of progress. Rank 2. 
for Tutored Student. The Tutored Student Social Link has reached level 2. Your power to create personas of the Tower Arcana has grown. Huh. Time's already up. We were still in the middle of that last question. Uh, I'll stay and help you. You don't have enough diligence. Really? Have I not maxed it out? God, this guy is such a handful. I have to max out everything. Huh? Time's already up. Wait until next time, then. I see. Well, until then. Take care now. You finished your tutoring job and went home. You earned 10,000 yen from your tutoring job. Friday, uh-oh. Thunderstorms and rain. What are we going to do? Sometimes, while we're learning about history, we forget that history is still alive and with us today. The well Wichita. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> is a plant in the Namib Desert. Some individual specimens may be more than 2,000 years old. It must be very handy being able to survive cruel desert conditions for 20 centuries. And it's uh, truly surprising that its two main leaves continue to grow for that entire time. I'm very curious about their overflowing will to live. Oh, were you listening, Sokun? Nope, sorry, it was, uh, admiring my own chest. What desert is the well Wichita found in? The Namib Desert. You give the answer you think is correct. These kind of questions are easy, uh, especially because of the fact that I'm reading it out to you guys. If I'm just scanning it with my eyes, I probably would have forgotten. Good job, you got it right. I bet you're proud of yourself. I certainly am. I'm always proud of myself. The well Wichita <laughs> is a really old plant living in the Namib Desert. I wonder if I'll gain some of its powers for immortality if I manage to get one of my own. You could be immortal, but you won't stay looking young, that's for sure. Oh, but don't tell any of the other female teachers that. I don't need the competition. <laughs> sure. You gave the correct answer. I don't think anyone's competing with you. Whatsoever. <laughs> Your knowledge has increased. Certainly not in this school. Cause of for today. Nanako is in no condition. I wonder if we've got, um our acting classes today. We do not. That would have been a good way to spend some time. What are we going to do now? Actually, well, since it's raining and I'm not going to get much done out of Aya, I suppose I could go, but my diligence isn't maxed out. Uh, I might as well go into the TV world, actually, and just finish um, Naoto's dungeon, right? What could possibly go wrong by making that choice? Or I could go to the Shrine Fortune, actually. Maybe we'll do that. It's a small shrine, there's a fortune box, but there's nothing inside. All oh, right, fortunes are put away during rainy days. Okay. Into the TV we go. Mister, you're friends with the boy whose pa owns this place, aren't you? You know, I saw you two putting on a show up on the roof the other day. The owner's son and the other workers helped clean up after the concert. I think he must have forgotten this after they finished up and he changed out of his work clothes. Could you give it to him? Obtained Juness coveralls. I'm counting on you. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to wear the Juness uniform in the TV world. Gather everyone at the food court? Yes. It's cold! It's a little chilly today. Is everyone okay? Uh, well, let's go into the TV world then and get ourselves warm. Enter the TV. Huh? We're departing already? Yes. Man, you guys are always calling me up wanting to go into the TV world, and when I finally say we should, you're all hesitant. I'm still worried about Nanachan, but... <clears throat> We did what we needed to do in here. Hey, we did. Can I go into her dungeon again? Will there be... Will there be the boss already? Probably not. Senpai, you look a little down. Come on, smile. I, I'll smile when Nanako's up and running again. I'm sure everything will be fine. Go to heaven. <laughs> uh, go to heaven. Why not? Okay, let's go, everyone. Huh? It's not opening? So, there's nothing on the top floor? The door is sealed with some sort of strong power. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. I guess uh, we'll come back. Back into the secret laboratory. This time we're seeing Kanji, Chie, and we're bringing Nato along because this was her dungeon. I'm sensing a strong shadow from way down below. If you're planning to go defeat it, be careful, Senpai. I'm always careful. Careful's my middle name. Ugh, it's quite tenacious. Going in, Nato. Very well. Oh, we've got a new... Combo attack, Beauty and the Beast. You'll love to see it. 
Wow. Defeated. That did a little bit of damage. <laughs> I'm here. Jeez, everyone just brought their scooters and rollerblades along. Yukiko, my goodness. Don't give up now, okay? Almost was a kamikaze attack. Enemy down. She literally kicked a tank. I'm ready to go. Just say the word. Yeah, go ahead. Destroy it. Precisely. It's showtime. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here goes. Go! Beat him up! That was the equivalent of a cavalryman destroying... A tank in civilization. All right, we're here. The final level. I sense a shadow behind that door. Are you ready for it? Open the door and enter. Yeah, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. As long as we remember to actually buff ourselves and debuff the boss. Oh, looky here. Let's go. It's uh, it's on the fritz. It's ready to start firing. Uh -oh. Okay, that was straight into darkness. it. And we counter struck it. 538 damage right off the bat. Uh, let's power charge with Chie. Start things off by getting ourselves ready, like an opening, like the opening moves of chess, pretty much. Uh, we can use Makara Karn, berry that reflects magic damage once. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Keep ourselves protected. The magic wall's been erected. Uh, what can I do? I also have Makara Karn, so why don't I protect myself? No, let's protect uh, Chie. Because I think God's Hand uses a lot of HP, and I'd like to keep her protected if possible. Um, decrease evasion rates. Done. I think all our attack is up. Okay, Kanji, cool. that was some great. dodges. Uh, God's had 114 HP. Yeah, definitely worth. I should probably check if it's weak to any uh, elements as well. Ooh, Enemy 670 down. damage crit. All right, guys. Gotcha. Hop on, destroy it, flatten it like a pancake. And 104 damage from the all-out attack. Uh, let's go, Agadine. I could protect yes, everyone else. I couldn't defeat it. Uh, maybe I'll do that. No, let's use Bufodine, since I got Chie using God's Hand. 180 damage, not bad. Uh, Zionine. Hopefully it doesn't drain. It ain't going down! Damage. Ooh, another counter! Nato is poisoned. Power charge with Chie! I think we need to increase our attack because it's about to run out. Uh, Garanine. I think we haven't tried wind yet. Enemy of course, down. it's its weak point. I'm ready to go. Just say the word. If I'm not mistaken, I think lightning did more than the wind. Precisely. But here goes. Uh, we managed to knock it down with with uh, wind. Couldn't quite beat it. As well if you goes, combine Kanji -kun. the all, right, all out attack with the wind, we did more damage. As Beauty and the Beast comes out. Ha! I gotta say, this attack reminds me of Warcraft 3, when you're That's what comes of haunting your gold mine. Me. Uh oh, now Takun's poisoned! I swear, man, it just doesn't do as much damage as I'd hope. Uh, power charge? Yeah, let's uh, start protecting ourselves. Nauto could use some protect. No, it's already in effect. Chie, already in effect. Uh, myself? I'll protect myself. Good. One um, enemy to go. Keep it up. Increase all our attack, please. Attack increase lasts longer. Good. Oh, mind charge. Okay. Definitely uh -oh, want to keep ourselves poisoned. protected. Uh, God's hand. I think Kanji's the only one who hasn't. Couldn't quite beat got it. A one magic enemy wall. to go. Keep it up. Yeah, let's do Garudine. I'll put the magic wall on Kanji. Enemy down. If we're managing to knock it fallen. down with Garudine, I'm more Understood. than happy Here goes. to get Nauta to do that instead of protect uh, Kanji for now. Under 9 damage. Karkarn on Kanji. Okay, we should be protected against whatever magic attack it has for uh -oh. us. Now Takun's poisoned. Uh, decrease its evasion. Hopefully the poison wears off in a moment. Power charge as well. Uh oh. 
one enemy to go. That's Keep not good. it up. Just do a regular power charge. Oh, sorry, a regular God's head attack. Yikes! It's tough. Total damage. Now there's no poison Careful, anymore. Careful, guys. You're really low on health. Understood. I might get Kanji to heal oh, us. Or I will. Garudine. Enemy down. Keep it up, team. Understood. We're almost Is done. everyone ready? Get set. All right. Yeah, go, We're go, go. Just hammering away at our SP at this final juncture. 149 damage. Uh, should heal. Fully restores party HP. Might as well. You can go as normally in my party. And uh, that means I don't Last really one. use go items. Should we do torrent shot? How will this go? <laughs> Come on now. Torrent shot it is. Damn, couldn't finish. 150 damage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that mind charge and using Mazziodine basically annihilated itself. Congratulations, you played yourself. You have defeated a mighty enemy. Your courage has increased. And we're done. We can thank the fact that I went back into the TV world uh, for delaying the episode <laughs> coming out because I had to grind my way back. Uh, I suppose the weapons over here on the operating table. Something's on the floor. Obtained Algernon. All right, we're done. Let's clear out of here. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Thank you, Margaret. On my way down, uh, because in Nato's lab is downward, uh, I managed to level up Tauti, which gave me Mind Charge, which will allowed me to fuse Trumpeter, which is the final persona needed to max out Margaret. Uh, I did consult some sort of guide for that one, uh, but I thought it was necessary because I had no idea how the heck to get there. So, done. A trumpeter with mind charge. You have successfully completed the request. That was my last request. Well, there we go. I suppose our relationship ends right there, Margaret. Congratulations. You've been through many challenges, and I, I hope you grasped their meaning. You see, the results never mattered. I wanted to see you yourself struggle and complete the requests. Well, I think you succeeded on that last one. I spent a good, like half an hour trying to figure out how to get mind charge and I just couldn't work it out. You approached each challenge thoughtfully, and in doing so, you trained your soul. As I predicted, you have shown me that your soul is strong. It's been wonderful. For the first time in ages, I became very excited. Oh, well, again, it's because I don't do the button on my school uniform. <laughs> but remember, one's soul is fragile. The purer it is, the stronger it gets, but it can easily be led astray. It can take so little as a handful of senseless words, such as a lie or a rumor. Please remember that. Now I have to give you something as a reward. Here, I want you to have this. Obtained Spiral Brooch. It's only an object, but at the same time, it's an expression of myself. I'm sure you'd know, since you've struggled so much for me, right? I have. I have toiled the fields trying to accomplish this, and at long last we've maxed out Margaret. We were really delayed for quite some time. We kind of put her off to the side, but th we managed to knock them out of the park one by one. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Isis, the ultimate form of the Empress Arcana. Oh, really? It's only like a level 40 in Persona 5. <laughs> the Margaret Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Margaret Social Link. Your power to create Personas of the Empress Arcana has reached its maximum. Sawaku Senior has forged a bond that cannot be broken by mastering the Empress Social Link. You can now fuse Isis, the mother of reincarnation. There's nothing more of your heart that I need to see. I understand you quite well now, so thank you. As I thought, you're the person I had been waiting for. When the time comes, it is you who will provide my answer. <laughs> I look forward to it. I'm sure you do. Well, thank you very much. I'm out of here. Quit exploring. It's been a while since I actually left through the TV. That's why I approached Teddy at first, uh, at my first attempt. You can fully recover HP and SP by resting at home. Makes sense. Going back? Okay, let's go together. 
again, I'm home. Nothing going on. It's raining. I realize I didn't check out the shopping channel this week. It's fine. I don't feel like ordering from Tanaka anymore because of the delivery driver being involved. Which program would you watch? The Midnight Channel. No one's on the screen. Thank the Lord. Uh, not a lot we can do today because it was raining. That's why I went into the TV world. I suppose we... Oh, I'm exhausted from your exploration inside the TV. You decided to read some other time. Of course, I've got no teacher to give me a back rub. Hmm. It's funny, it's been a while since I've actually read that message you're tired from exploring the TV world. Because normally, we rescue whoever is trapped in there and then at night we can still do something, I think. You dreamed that you were Fox's parent. I see. It was a surreal, awkward dream, but your relationship with Fox has intensified. <laughs> that Fox is my child. My son. Class is amended for today. Nanako is in no condition to be visited. You must wait for her to recover. Who are we going to hang out with today? Naoki's not here, even though he's still in his I don't want to play with you anymore phase. Because we ranked up so much until he can't uh, rank us up anymore and didn't see us at lunchtime. Marie is there. It's been a while. Yukiko's here. Her scooter is intact. She's repaired it after we crashed it in the secret lab. We definitely need to max out Marie as well. I think we'll try and use our fortunes at night. So Naoto's there, but it's been a while since I've seen Rize, so maybe we go hang out with Rize. Unfortunately, I'll need a lover's persona, so let's go ahead and tend to that. Nothing in my shoe locker, seriously? Alright, Rize, your senpai's here! Senpai? Oh, she doesn't sound so excited this time. I want to see Nanako-chan. I want to see her face. Me too. Oh man, now I'm feeling depressed again. Oh, I'm sorry. I know this must be more painful for you than me. Um, is there something I can do for you? Oh, I know! Let's go out! How does that sound, huh? <laughs> Rize's trying to help you feel better. Just go out with me, and we'll feel... we'll feel good. Yeah. Probably, actually. I could use the company. Since you have Raphael, a person of the Lovers Arcana, you feel you can become closer? Your relationship's gonna become closer soon. We'll spend the afternoon with Rize. Let's do it. Uh-huh! Yeah? Where shall we go? Rize looks happy. Her and Kanji are still on five, even though I've maxed out everyone else, and, well, Nato's on three or four, but she was uh, a late arrival. Central Shopping District. He walked Rize home after a trip to Okina City. Oh, we, we walked there? Or, no, we caught the train. <laughs> <laughs> I placed lots of special orders. Come with, come with me next time when I go pick him up, Senpai. I had tons of fun today. Not many people try to come up and talk. Maybe they already forgot who I am. I don't think so, considering we just had a concert around here uh, some time ago. Oh yeah, want some tofu to take home? I helped make them today. Wait right here. Okay. You could have just taken me into the store, but sure, I'll just wait in the middle of the road. Excuse me. So sad, is it? Uh, hello? Oh, it's you. Um, sorry about the other day. Man, it's been a, it's been a while. I'm Minoru Inoue, Rize Kujikawa's former manager. I'm sorry to bother you, but could you give this to her? Inoue handed you a letter. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but it's fine. A fan letter came, you see. Uh, give it to her yourself. I don't think she'd take it from me. And Rize always did look forward to this girl's letters. Oh, okay. In today's cult of personality, being popular carries its own problems. Your schedule fits together, minute by minute, like a jigsaw puzzle. Every day, you're squeezed utterly dry. But even knowing that, I still want her to come back. She was genuinely brilliant. Not only that, but she's strong enough to use her pain as a foundation. From what I could see, she's relying on you. So, could you... Sorry, Senpai, but we're all sold out. Inoi-san? Quit pestering me! Wait, what did you say to Senpai? Oh god. I I'm sorry, I'm leaving now. <laughs> uh, goodbye. It runs off. Short <laughs> strides, though. Hounding me even after I quit. He's practically a stalker! To think I trusted him. I feel betrayed. Uh... <laughs> you're really quitting? He's worried about you. No, you're really quitting? Huh? Senpai? Why are you asking me that all of a sudden? Uh-oh, I've awoken the beast. You know I did say something to you, didn't he? Rize is furious. So... 
What did he come for? He told Rize why Inoue came and handed her the fan letter. Oh! This letter? She wrote again. I see. But he came all the way out here for this? I think he just wanted an excuse to see you, to be honest. This girl is a middle school student. She writes to me all the time. I did this public service campaign once to stamp out bullying. She said it inspired her. She wrote that she wouldn't let bullies get her down, that she'd try to make friends. Ever since then, she wrote me letters. This happened to me today, I was able to say this, stuff like that. Seeing Rosette work hard encourages me. It makes me feel like I can still hang in there. <laughs> she doesn't really know how it works, huh? But still, every time I read her letters, I felt like Rosette actually meant something. I mean, you do, right? I mean, sure, you've got a lot of, uh, of simps and stands that, uh, basically just want pictures of you signed so they can hang it on their wall, but I think you're a genuinely positive influence to some girls as well. So whenever things got tough, I would read them over and over. Senpai, do you still have some free time? Yeah, I mean, there's no one at home, literally. Oh, to the shrine we go. Tatsuhime Shrine. Rize seems to be deep in thought after reading the fan letter. Hmm. She's worried about me. Officially, I'm taking a break due to illness, so... Before I quit, there was talk about a part in a movie. She sounds like she was really looking forward to it. Please get well soon and come back, she says. Hmm. I'm so glad you were here. I was scared to read it alone. I gave up on being reset. I can't meet her expectations. I, yeah, it must be like imposter syndrome, right? You just feel like every day, am I really this positive of an influence? Am I really making a difference to these people? I feel like they're counting on me and the pressure, you know, just to get things done right every time because, you know, the fear of losing a longtime fan is is real for, for a lot of people, you know? People who have stuck by you for so long, you're afraid to disappoint them. Um... Having second thoughts? I have no regrets. At least, I think not. I mean, it was such a relief to quit. To go back to being the real me. <laughs> Rize has a lonely smile on her face. Yeah, I mean, like, all that pressure's gone at long last, and you can finally just retreat back into your old self, but... I mean, the thought of those people you left behind, and all your fans who... Uh, probably will not see anything from you ever again. And they're going to start dwindling as you go into the future, but there'll be some that will hold on to that hope that you're going to make a comeback, you know? Anyway, Rosette doesn't exist anymore. It's not just this girl. I disappointed lots of other people. Exactly, it's not just one person. There's a whole crowd of people who want Rosette to come back. The president of the company told me that over and over, and I knew already... Yeah, well, he's just trying to guilt trip you into, you know, remaining his golden goose. I knew this was the path I chose, but... <laughs> Maybe I'll just inherit the tofu shop. I'm the shop's main attraction now. I bet I could make it thrive. I mean, that goodwill's gonna run out at some point, I'm afraid. Especially in a small town like this. Senpai! Maybe we should really just do it. Do what? You know, what I was saying a while back. Oh. You could marry me once we graduate high school, and the two of us could work together at the tofu shop. Excuse me? I am taken. <laughs> wow. She's she's mapped it all out. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> How about it? <laughs> uh, if you're serious, I'm just going to say, sounds great. No, I, I can't say that. I'm just going to say, uh, I can't decide that now. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Senpai, you're so cute. You're too honest, though. Well, I already knew that. You're not interested in me. Rize is smiling a bit sadly. Yes, I'm afraid not. I mean, you're a wonderful person. And, uh, <laughs> it's just... Maybe I'm a little bit intimidated, I don't know. <laughs> she, I just feel like she's really... Like, she's really territorial and maybe a little bit clingy. I mean, it's not a bad thing, it's just... You know, not for me. Thank you, Senpai, for being with me all of today. 
I feel a bit better. Yeah, I'm fine. I can contribute something. And it looks like there's still plenty of things only I can do. You can sense Rize's quiet will. You feel that you understand Rize even more. Alright, there we go. Rank 6 for Rize Kujikawa. The Rize Kujikawa social link has reached level 6. I mean, this is the very spot where I, I, I told Yukiko that I, that I was uh, falling for her, you know? Your power to create personas of the lovers arcana has grown. Rize's determination in battles has been enhanced even further. She will now precisely identify an enemy's weakness. When your options for an attack include the enemy's weakness, Rize will inform you. Sorry for dragging you around all day. I'll let you go now. Oh, thanks. <laughs> See you later, senpai. You walked Rize to her house and went home. Whew. You can work as a tutor today. Oh, the vegetables are ready. Um, uh, I better have some mel melons left. Digging alone. The vegetables in the garden have grown magnificently. Probably because Nanako didn't really help. <laughs> and I was doing everything. Harvested two returned daikons. Sorry, it wasn't melons, it was daikon. Oh no, I'm down to my tomato seedlings. I must carry on the tradition of growing vegetables. The soil seems to be in good enough condition to plant new seedlings. You plant a tomato seedling. Uh, time to go tutoring. Since you have Tauti, Persona of the Tower Arcana, you seem like it along well. Our relationship will deepen just yet. Oh, that's fine then. Never mind. I'm gonna go deposit a fortune for Marie. Alright, let's deposit our fortune. 200 yen. I have 174k because I'm loaded and I tax my teammates, make sure that they don't run off with any of the yen we gather in the TV world. People from outside school. Someone else. Someone else. Marie. Come on, give me a good one. It says, great blessing. You feel you've gotten a little closer to Marie. Relationship won't become stronger yet. Oh, damn it. What kind of fortune is this? Time passes. You tied the omikuji around the fortune tree. It's getting late. You decide to go home. Sunday the 13th. Uh-oh. That means I can... Watch the shopping channel. You have the day off from school today. You've done everything you could do. All you can do for now is wait for Nanako's recovery. What should you do today? <sighs> you realize you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program this week? Maybe you should watch it. Fine. Which program would you watch? The shopping program. You hear an infectiously cheery song. Here comes Tanaka over the airwaves to you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Grand of your desires. This is Tanaka's Amazing Commodities, the mail order television program being broadcasted live to you. We guarantee your purchase will meet your satisfaction for a fair market price. Just note that shipping might take a little bit longer uh, these next couple of weeks. We need to hire a replacement courier company. Apparently, there's a scandal involving the one we're using right now, but I can assure you you it's nothing to do with the fact that we're shipping weapons and potentially hazardous items to our wonderful and beloved customers now let's introduce the products available for these three days it's race and brace its abilities will shock you wink wink oh my goodness i can't believe its wonderfulness it's electrifying i'll add diet food to your race and brace all for the low price of 19,800 yen we've got another fantastic product on sale today nice shoes the popular item returns for sale that's right we can't sell any of those dangerous goods that i mentioned about because these new courier companies probably don't want to ship them for us and uh, well you know there's a potential uh, that uh, one of our courier drivers is in fact a murderer on top of this i'll add red battle suits to your nice shoes complete the outfit you know you'll look like a real clown or that mascot in juness i don't know if you've seen him he's quite a chubby little dude <laughs> for only 19,800 yen it's the same price these products are so popular we can only allow one order per person which you would like to purchase today i'm going to buy neither of them because i'm depressed and i'm upset that Tanaka is using such a shady courier company. This is all just falling into place as to where he ended up in future Persona installment. <laughs> wow, we sold through our entire stock. Thank you all so much for your participation in today's show. Hey, did our uh, favorite customer phone in? He didn't? What the heck? Jeez, what are we gonna do? We've run out of stock. That's why maybe you just forgot. Maybe he slipped in. As long as I don't have to be live anymore for the next 48 hours. Okay, anyway, I'm just going to close out the show. Uh, thank you all for participating. Today's sale is over, but you'll get another chance for three days starting next Sunday. See you next time on this channel. You hear the catchy song again. Here comes Tanaka, over the airwaves to you. Shopping program is in. You turn off the TV. Let's do, I don't know. It's just, everything's so sad. <laughs>